Good afternoon, uh, my name is Walter Jackson from the Five Jacksons Journey. I wanted to do a run through of our Heartland Traveller. Uh, it's a big horn, 37 dB, as you can see. And we just finished all 50 states. So I thought it's about time that we show people how we live. So we'll start here at the front. This is our biggest loading area. This is our basement. This is where we store all of our stuff. And uh, I've been clearing it out. And uh, it's uh, got a lot of space in here. We usually have the paddle boards in the summer. Well, now you can see the boxes. We had the skis shipped out to us. And uh, we've got all the skis on the back of the truck. We just came back from the mountains here in North Carolina. And uh, then we had this, uh, this kind of separation built in here because we have the inverter behind so i'm going to open it up so that you can see it's a bit dark in there but you can see there's the inverter and all of the cabling so we've got that in there but when it's kind of pushed back uh, there's a lot of space we've got a uh, one of two propane tanks so these aren't ones that you can swap out you uh you have to go fill them because they're specific for this one and then we've got another one on the other side and if you come to the front there's more storage here this is the access hatch again to your storage but now you've got a different access point here from the front you've got three access points to all the storage um, we carry two generators mm -hmm. here uh, so this is the extra one if I do need uh, to charge the batteries quickly, then I can uh, connect the two and they pump out. Obviously, it's a 3500, but we can pump out double and I've got some extra batteries in here. So on this side, you've got second propane tank. And your third access to the storage bin. I've got my generator in there, some of the piping for obviously your hookups, and this is kind of your main control. So at the moment, if you can see, it gets below freezing at night. So I'm running this, uh, this blue pipe, obviously plugged into electric, and I covered that section so that it doesn't freeze overnight. And then we've got two bathrooms in here. So we're only using the one, so I've got the sewage hooked up to the one. Or well, we've got a second one in the back. It's just a, another storage locker. There's actually a lot of storage in this thing. And then you come around here, our electric hookup. And this is our second bathroom with your tanks. When you come around here, we've got obviously the ladder to access the roof. And then this is the back door, but at the moment, this site is so uh, low at the back, we can't pull out the back ladder because it's just too uh, high. And then we've got like a double kind of kitchen area out here. We've got a little fridge here for your beers all my barbecue stuff some more storage and then this is your, your outside kitchen which again because it's so uneven here you're not going to cook up here but uh, this is kind of where you can cook outside with a two burning stove and then you've got a little sink here and um, and then this just slides back in close it when you're going down the road cool oh. <laughs> normally that's kind of at a level that you can use but the slight side slopes down so much at the back then we've got we've got five slide outs um, big awning with the lights we don't really put the awning out it's not something we care about uh, too much uh, it's gonna rain tonight so I've kind of put it away and then uh, on the roof, we've got the solar panels. 
and then obviously I showed you the inverter and uh, that's kind of it for the outside. Before Max shows you the inside I wanted to show you just the systems that we had installed for our solar. So at the moment because on, on this campsite we are actually on full hookups so the batteries are charging um, it's uh, on flow charge now because it's full but when we boondock we run uh, the whole bus off just the solar and the batteries and we've got our fresh water tank your holding tank so we can stay off grid for about a week at a time before our tanks get full normally it's a water issue before it's a power issue because we can stay out there for weeks with this and then uh, the other system that i wanted to show you just uh, is uh, this this mess that's here is our internet which has worked fantastic for the last 18 months we have two sim cards that we plug in here um so we can run well that's the booster we can run um two sim cards at the same time and which means if at&t doesn't get signal then we our backup is verizon and it jumps onto that so that we can uh, you know work on the road we need wi-fi so that's kind of the only systems that's important here and I'll let Maxi show you the rest of the uh, RV. I am Maxi Jackson. I'm going to show you the inside of our RV. So this is our nice island in the kitchen. Um, and then both these panels comes in and they close up the sink when we travel on travel days. We've got a full fridge freezer. See, not to buy it. And some enough space and then we've got three hops here for gas and a gas oven and a microwave this is where Walter works during the day and the TVs we have not used in six months but they come with these three TVs in the RV then we have nice sofa here and I believe they all recline. I don't think we've ever sat and reclined here. Have we? Do you know where? Oh, here's one. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. Actually, we should continue with the trip for another year. <laughs> okay. Then we walk into the kids' room. They've got their PlayStation printer for school and they both sit here to do the school work both have a table like this with the computers hi ben how's the rv trip been amazing right Love why it. is your room so dirty don't know was it lucy yes and then freddy is up there in his man cave man cave freddy yeah where are you where are you Say hi. Freddy. Yeah. Let me see you. Hello. And he's four. <laughs> and he's so four. The, the boys got their own storage here for clothes and back here for some school supplies. And if they have friends sleeping over, we'll have this extra bunk bed for them. And then the sofa turns into a um, sleep uh, bed. And then the boys also have their own bathroom. So you hook up the leather. So this is what's out. I'll put it back in. And just a very small bathroom. Let me see if it's clean. Yes, with a small bath. You see, the ladder is up because I showed you outside that uh, it is too uneven this area. Cool. Okay, this room's got two, two, what do you call this, sunroofs? No, what do you call this, vents? Vents, yeah, like a hatch. Yes, and also, um, if the AC is on, it also comes out. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. 
Okay, and then we're going to have the main bar. Nice big shower. the Orbi King here and then under the bed there's a lot of storage hold on it's a bit for extra winter clothes and bedding okay and then this is my workspace where I sit during the day my laptop and monitor and then I can move it out of the way Got a washer dryer. And then we've got a TV here in the room and storage here and a lot of storage under the on my workspace, I guess. And then we've got some cabinets here that's it oh we've got our AC coming out of the room here and also in the kitchen oh and the Orbi is winterized as well so we have the furnace that comes out of all the vents underneath to heat it up underneath and comes into the RV. <coughs> and oh, we have a nice pantry. And that's oh, okay. And there's more storage up here, which I forgot about. All these little cabinets, storage. Yes, I think that is our RV. Thanks for watching.